we are just about four weeks away to playing against Nigeria. Anything other than being focused on that match against Nigeria is us shooting ourselves in the foot. And I say these things for two reasons. Whilst we are where, you know, journalists have been sent on the wild goose chase, um, the Nigerians are focused, they'll name their squad for the game against Ghana in the coming days. We don't have anybody in charge. So the wisest thing the GFA can do is to look for somebody that knows the squad, that knows the players, has worked with the players, knows the psyche of Ghanaian players, and can move to stabilize the team in the midst of um, this outing at the AFCON that has not impressed all of us, so that we can go with a strong face to face Nigeria. Anything other than that would further damage the team and will give us no chance in playing against Nigeria. And for that matter, for me, Otuado takes all the boxes. Why? Because one, he's currently the assistant coach of the national team. To a lot of the players in the team he has directly worked with. He, he was the assistant coach at Norgeland, so uh, players like Kudus, um, Kamal Dean, uh, Abdul Mumi, and the rest worked under him. He worked directly with them when he was at Norgeland. Now, I tell you one thing that a lot of Ghanaians don't know. Ghana's biggest result at the 2014 World Cup uh, was against Germany. And you remember that Germany beat every country, including Brazil, uh, with more than seven goals. Ghana was the only country that was able to hold Germany. That tactic, or those tactics used by Ghana's coach, Kwisiatia, to hold Germany, in fact, in fact, we're on the verge of beating uh, Germany, was prepared by Otto He was then the scout for the team against Germany. And he gave a concise report that helped Kwisiatia to pull off this massive feat. And if we have such a coach in place that knows the players and in the interim is able to do this, I think it's the wisest thing to do, at least for the next two games. And we must have in our mind, whether it goes well or it doesn't go well, we must understand that from, you know, from the fallout of the uh, performance at the African Cup of Nations, we need to rebuild. But in the interim, we have a World Cup qualifier. So even if it doesn't go well against Nigeria, we can start from the point that we are rebuilding the squad. Mm -hmm. And I think that based on the experiences that Otto had, even though he's been a, an assistant coach, and you have to listen to players like Eden Haaland, uh, Jaden Sancho, Helen Beck, all of these, uh, Belen Beck, all of these players that played for Dortmund, and talk, talk about the role of Otto Ado in the current makeup of the uh, Dortmund squad, shows that we have got a diamond in our hands 